Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we got a red box in the mail from SparkFun. Let's open it up and see what's inside. The packing list. It is a LiDAR light blue label laser ranging module. And a SparkFun capacitor kit. I'm guessing there's capacitors in here. Oh yes, a whole bunch of them. The LiDAR light, a class one laser product. This is the version two of the LiDAR light. If you remember, we did a LiDAR one, LiDAR light version one a few months ago. Ooh, it's pretty, it has a blue label on it. And in here with a satisfying click, I hope. Yes, there it is. So let's go hook it up to the Jetson. I have here a version one of the LiDAR light. So you can see that it's, it looks like it's the same housing. But the label is different. This is a blue label, much better. Don't even think it. So coming off the Jetson, J3A1 pin one is five volts. It goes to the five volt rail here. Pin eight, J3A1 pin eight is ground. We need a capacitor. This is a 680 microfarad capacitor. Helps for decoupling. So when you hook up a capacitor, there's the negative side. It's a short pin usually. So I just put it in the breadboard. Then the red is the five volts. And the light our light. The other end is the ground. Then next to the ground is SDA, which is J3A1 pin 20, which I've brought out on this blue wire. And next to SDA is SCL which I brought out on this yellow wire from the Jetson on pin 18 J3 A1. There are a couple of other wires here that are used with PWM. We're not going to use that in this demonstration, so I'll tape them up. Let's fire it up. No smoke, we've cheated the gods again. Let's load up some software. Let's install our Live I2C development tools. And let's check to see if the 
LiDAR light shows up. Oops, we need sudo. And there it is, 062, which is the default. So let's load up our software. I've written a little library here. It's available on the Jetson Hacks repository on GitHub. Copy over the address of it. Git clone. Switch over to that directory, over to the example directory, hit make. And you can see that the example runs. I've also included a little graphical interface for it in this release. One important note, the LiDAR Lite version 2 software is not compatible with the LiDAR Lite version 1. So if you try to use the software with the version 1, it will not work. So I've started up the little graphical demo. Notice that when I put my hand over the sensor, it tracks the position. If I take it and point it into another room, you can see the distance change. Pointing it at the monitor, back to the other room, into the corner. You can see the signal's pretty stable. This graph here represents the velocity change. So when I pass my hand over it, you can see that the velocity of the incoming signal has changed. That helps you determine when things are coming towards you or going away from you. And since it uses light, you don't really have to worry too much about the surface. For example, cloth. It tracks cloth pretty well. If you looked at the ultrasonic video that we did a couple of days ago, it had trouble tracking the cloth-based shark. Dum 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 d